Good morning, everybody. This is Why in the Morning. And as you know, this is Tuesday Entrepreneurship. And what we do on this particular show is focus on different entrepreneurs and what they're doing in order to, you know, feed their families and pay the school fees or just, you know, continue with life or make life a little bit easier. And so, Karibu Sana to this show. My name is Joy Mochache. You can always follow me on Joy underscore Mochache. And remember to tune in to all our uh, social media handles for Y254. The one for Facebook is Y254 Channel. We've got one for Twitter on Y254 channel. Follow us on Instagram as well. That is Y254 underscore channel. And you can subscribe and continue to watch our videos and catch up and see all these videos on YouTube at the same name, Y254 channel. And so let's delve right in. Let me introduce our guest today. He does some interesting work and we'll see what he has to do. All right. His name is Steve Elma. And what he does is a beat artist, and I'd like him to actually introduce his social media handles and let people know where they can find him, just in case you guys want to follow him. Hello, I'm Steve Elma. I'm a beat work artist. My social handle, mm, Facebook is Steve Elma. IG is Elmo Official. Thank you. Busana. You guys have heard his social media handles and what's your phone number, please? My phone number is 07-03-623-705. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So if you want him to do any beats for you guys, any of the beat work you're going to see today, that's the number you're going to call. Before the show ends, I'm going to ask him to repeat his social media handles and to repeat his number so that you can reach out to him, support his business and also get yourself some beautiful, beautiful beat work. So, Mr. L. Ma, yes? Yep. Uh, this way. Okay. <laughs> Social okay. media IG is Elm Official. Uh, um, no, we've gotten that one already. Pardon? I was just saying Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. Yes, Karibu Sana to the show. Yeah. Uh, today we do Tuesday Entrepreneurship. Yeah. You're an entrepreneur yourself, aren't you? Yeah, I am. You are. What do you do as a bead artist? What exactly does it mean to be a bead work artist or a bead maker? Mm, bead work is an art. Yes. Yeah, dealing with beads. Mm -hmm. uh, to know how to how to combine the beads, how to put uh, put them in orders, mm -hmm. colors, mm -hmm. and everything about okay. art. Okay. And how do you love this work? Is it something you enjoy to do every single day? Actually, beadwork is my favorite art. Yes. Yeah. I love beadwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It gives me uh, It gives me. Uh, it encourages me. Uh -huh. And it makes me to be like somebody in this society. Okay, that's yeah. it makes you feel like you're part of the society. Exactly. And as a youth, that's so important, isn't it? Sure. So you're actually adding some capital to our economy, number one. Number two, you're taking care of yourself as a young man. Sure. Yes. And I'm sure you're also helping some family members, maybe your mom or your dad out there. Yeah. They this appreciate is really my work. good. That's good. Do you have any other things that you're interested in that you do apart from beadwork? Apart from beadwork, I'm a drama. I your drama yeah okay your drama that's good that's interesting so you're more of an art person you're into the arts yeah 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 that's where your passion comes from exactly okay so tell me more about the beads um i wanted actually for there to be some images of the beads that he has done before we bring in some models to showcase i wanted some of the images to be put up and while they're doing that let's continue talking mm -hmm. i wanted to know what kind of beads you use because me, I see beads all over the place. When you say beads to me, I just think of, I think of the Maasai ones, you know? But I know that there's so many kinds of beads out there. I'm wearing beads myself. But I wanted to know, what are the names of the beads that you use? Beads are made of different types. There are, there are types like crystals bead. Mm -hmm. There's wooden beads. Mm -hmm. There's stone, stone beads. Uh -huh. And even feathers. Even feathers. Yes. Which is your favorite or your easiest to work with out mm. of all those? Crystals. Crystals bead. Crystal. They're easier to work sure. with. Sure. Okay. And how long have you been doing this? How long have you been a bead maker? I started bead work in 2016. 2016? Yeah. Oh, okay. Three years, so three years ago. Ah, yeah. And I have to ask, what made you wake up one day and say, you know what? I'm going to be a bead maker. What was it inside you that stirred? Or what is it that... Um, made you feel as if this is a path you should follow? The inspiration behind the uh, beadwork is because I want to be like my own boss. 
I've never thought like going to <laughs> find a job somewhere. Yes. So being a big work artist, I will just wake up mm -hmm. and do my own business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is behind the, the mm -hmm. reason why. I like what you said. You don't want um, to have a boss. You want to be your own boss. Exactly. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Sure. So that means you're not going to the office at nine and coming out at five, yeah? No, You no. do your work when you want. No one is telling you, hey, this is wrong. You know, this is up to you. Yeah. That's a good feeling as a young man. And not many people your age have taken your route. Most of them, you know, go to offices and most of them are scared to go into business. So I find it very brave that you decided to start a business by yourself. Sure. Before we continue, are there any other business ventures you have or is it mostly beadwork? Actually, apart from beadwork, it's just drums, drums and beads. Drums That's and my, beads. Yeah, in my mind. I have to ask because when we go to town, we see all kinds of beads made by different people. So I need to know how it is when it comes to competition. How are your competitors? Are there many competitors when it comes to bead making? And if there are, how is it balancing at this age, at this young age? Are most of them your age mates? Are they older, your competitors? Most of my competitors, they are, are old people. Yes, I knew. Youths make just some, like a few things like bracelets. Mm -hmm. But I decided to, uh, to go an extra, extra mile. An extra mile. Yeah, an extra mile to make like other things like jewelry uh, body chains. Okay. Uh, you will see it later on. Yes. And what, what, okay, what are they? Body chains? Body chains, yeah. Okay. And then to go, it, I do also watch, watch beads. Mm -hmm. I, I buy my own watch and then I put beads on. Oh, you, you buy your watch, yeah. you remove the strap the that it came with. Yeah. And then you put your preferred beads. It, yeah, just to make it special, like, yeah. Uh, to personalize it. Yeah. That's amazing. That's really good. And what's this one called? The shiny one. I really like it. I might ask you to make for me one with this shiny bead. These beads are called uh, glass beads. Glass beads? Glass beads, yeah. Ah, they look good. They look really good. And tell me, is your family in support of this? Are they are they around, by the way? Because I'm hearing like your accent is different. And even your name, Elma, I feel like you're not a Kenyan. Actually, I am not a Kenyan, I'm a Congolese. You're Congolese? Yep. Karibu sana. Thank you When so did much. you come to Kenya? Mm, just after my high school, which uh -huh. was 2015. 2015? Yeah. What are you doing in Kenya apart from beadwork? I'm a student at Kemu University. Yes. Doing business management. Mm -hmm. So after this, I'll be the great, greatest business person ever. Wow. Oh, <laughs> you'll be the greatest person ever, yeah, yeah, business yeah. wise. Business so man. you're going to school to help, to learn and educate yourself on how to run a business properly Take so that your bid work can become one of the biggest bead work. Yeah, that was my reason to go to school. What is the name of your business? Uh, it's called, uh, it's an Italian quad. Uh, which means in English, uh, uh, which means the hidden talent. Hidden talent. Yeah. How do you say it in the Italian words? Uh, talenti nascosti. Talenti nascosti. Yeah. Ah, that's beautiful. Can I ask why you chose an Italian name? Because in Congo, I think you you people speak French, yes. Mm. Yeah. Why did you choose Italian instead of French? Actually, I, when I was young, I had a, a sister, mm -hmm. uh, no, a family sister, who was. Uh, and she lived in, t in in Italy like for ten years, mm -hmm. and then uh, whenever your small she sister, no, my elder sister, your elder sister, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, uh, whenever she, she comes at home, she's just like every time Italic, no, you have to know how to. So I was like interested. Yeah, uh, one day I'll also go to Italy, mm. and then the idea came from there. Did you make it to Italy? No, I haven't gone there yet, but I'll yeah. go soon. You'll go soon. Yeah. You're sure you'll go soon? I'll go. On. Yeah, you will. That's good, that's good. And so you chose Italian over French. Excellent. If you were to expand your business, let's say, uh, maybe apart from body wear, would you be interested in maybe making decor or are you only going to stay or is your passion mostly in body wear? My passion actually is in body because it's more fashion and then actually I love ladies like ladies to make them very smart. Yeah. So deco, you can't work <laughs> you with like that. Like you like to make ladies feel smart. Exactly. Okay. How I come? <laughs> I love ladies, like in terms of a single ladies, very smart. Okay. I appreciate them. And whenever a lady dresses very well, mm -hmm. I just feel good. You just feel good. Yeah. You know, that's, um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this. That's very Congolese. <laughs> you people appreciate 
the uh, how can I say when p- when someone dresses well, yeah. when someone looks good or yeah. something, you people appreciate fine things. And you're also very good at music. I'm thinking that's why you're a drama also. Yeah. There's that talent in there. Sure. Oh wow. Is anybody in your family also doing art arty things like music or making things like you? Yeah, but our elder brother mm-hmm. is called Better Better. Better Better. Yeah. Okay. He's a baba. Okay, baba. Yeah. He's here. Yeah, he, he, he was here uh-huh. last year. Uh-huh. He, uh, he, uh, uh, he won the um, Baba, what what is it called? An event of Take your time. Mm. and cutting the best hairdresser. Mm. Yeah, 2017 mm. 18. Mm, okay. And um, let me ask is there, okay, apart from beadwork? And you have models as well. Nikona mm. interest sana kuwaona. I don't want to just talk about beadwork. Now I want our viewers to see what you do. Sure. Yeah, nataka waone. Kama unaweza kuwakaribisha, I can be happy. Actually, I welcome Sarah and Anne. Welcome ladies. How are you? Maybe you can um Wait, let's see, that's your camera. So yes, you can stand a bit closer. Yes, so maybe you can give the mic. I wanted to ask them something about how they... Hi, what's your name? I'm Sarah. You're Sarah? Yeah. Okay, Sarah, how long have you been modeling for his work? This is the third year now. The third year now. Yep. What about you, Anne? This is my third year too. And you're enjoying it? Yes. He's a good boss, Sama. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's our Santa Sana. Uh, so tell me something about these beads. When it comes to Sarah, what is she? How do you? How long did this take to make that thing? That thing looks de- okay. Come this way. Into the set. Mm. Yeah, I think they're able to catch you now. How long did it take you to make Sarah's beads around her neck and shoulders like that? Because that looks very intricate and looks like it took ages. Uh, for Sarah's bead, mm-hmm. uh, this is called a uh, jewelry. Mm-hmm. It's an Stand to the side. Mm-hmm. This side. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, it's a Western bead. Okay. I uh, I got uh, this idea from a certain lady called Rita. Rita. Yeah, is a model. Oh, okay. They're very beautiful. Yeah, she told me to make hers, so I tried. Th- in fact, uh, this was my first trial, and then it's very wonderful. How come I don't see these beads in Kenya? You said they're Western. They come from Western. Yeah, Africa. Western. Uh, most of them are imported, but hmm. I'm the b- I'm the man who makes them now here. You're the man who makes them here in I East Africa. In East Africa now. Oh, okay. And this took you how many hours? You said or days? This one got. Uh, it took me like six hours. Six hours. You sat down for six hours. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they look great. Can we look at ours? That's beautiful. Looks like this one's for an occasion. Because it sh- has some shiny things as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And I can see the headpiece. Wow. Uh, th- this is very West African, but we're very happy to have this in East Africa, I must say. And you look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. And so please explain something about this work, Mr. Elma. And for Hans' work, yes. uh, this my okay. I edited it because in uh, the first uh, the first work was just uh, these shoulders things, mm. and then I thought. Uh, I just sat down and think like I can uh, modify it, mm-hmm. and then I came up idea with putting the front side mm-hmm. and then toward the choker mm-hmm. and the head thing. Okay, and the earrings. And as the well. earring as well. Ah, and this one took how long? Same time. This one, this one is four. It's less. Yeah, it took me l- uh, less hours than uh, Sarah's. Okay. And the beads you used in this are called what? These are called. Uh, these are pulse. These are pulse. Yeah. Oh, okay, sawa sawa. Thank you so much, Asante Sana. And if we can just um, continue with the interview, are there any other pieces that you wanted us to see, or it's particularly those ones? Actually, I have others. You have others. Yeah. Oh, okay, sawa sawa. Maybe for another time, because I don't mm. know if they'll be able to change into them right now. Mm. Yeah. Sure. Sawa sawa. And I wanted to ask you one thing. When you said that your friend, because I asked you how you started this business, and you told me that your friend spoke to you about it, was he doing the same thing? No. 
then how did he manage to convince you? Okay, he's, he's an artist, a good artist also. Mm -hmm. So uh, some time back, uh, we were staying like together. Mm -hmm. He just thought of bead work and then bought some beads mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. And then he started making just small, small bracelets. Okay. I was like, oh, okay, j j just show me how to make a single bracelet, just to put it on. Mm -hmm. He showed me how to make it. It was very simple. I can even show you, and you can make it also. I can make it also. Yeah. Oh, are you sure I have the talent? Sure, it's very um. You it's can. It's very easy. Okay. After that, it was like, okay, mm -hmm. I've been at home, mm -hmm. and then I was somehow broke. So I was like, I can start making these things, and then like sell to friend uh, to my friends. Mm -hmm. That's where the idea came from. Okay. And then I, st mm -hmm. I started like making them a, b a single bracelet, sell it, and post it on Facebook also. And then people just was like, uh, 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 ask how much, how much? How much how they wanted it? Uh, yeah, how much, uh, yeah, uh, till even today. Even me, I want, by the way. <laughs> even me, I have to have. I yeah. really have, I really want them. Yeah. They're so beautiful. But I think I'd try a different color. Sure. Do you have them in different colors? I do have. You have? Mm. Okay, so then I'll, I'll make an order. And you guys feel free to make an order. He told you his social media handles. Please repeat them again. Your social media handles where and your number so that they can make an order if they need to. We can follow at, at IG, Elm Official, contact 0703-623-705. Okay, so you got that number and you got the Instagram and Twitter handle. So you guys make sure that you reach out to him and, you know, support his business. As an entrepreneur and this being Entrepreneurship Tuesday, I want to ask you, what would you say to young people out there who would like to venture into business, but they don't have the same braveness that you have? Because, you know, it, it takes braveness to start business because you're taking a risk. You're not sure if it will work out or not. No. You know, yeah. you're, you're never sure. You're just taking a risk. And so that means you're brave. What would you say to people who would like to start a business, but they're not sure whether they should take the risk or they're not as brave as you? As you would, you have to know yourself first. Mm -hmm. uh, what can I do? Mm -hmm. Because uh, God, uh, whenever he makes, like, he allows you uh, to come here, mm -hmm. he gives you a talent. Ev each and every one of us has his own. Yes. So it's up to you now to, uh, to find it and then stop complaining too much. <laughs> There's no job, 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 job. Yes, you have a job in you. Oh, so yeah. you think the youth should stop complaining there's no job? Exactly. Wow, so you don't find an issue there. If there's no job, then do business. You have a job, you, you are the job now. You're the job? Yeah. How, what do you mean? The job now, because ta a talent, it's work. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, some of us have talent of bid work. Mm -hmm. You are a singer. Journalism work also, it's an art. Mm. It, uh, it needs talent, think outside the box. So for you, you have to think, think twice. I like think, 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 think mm -hmm. very much to, uh, to find yourself mm -hmm. and to know who you are. Mm -hmm. Because you have some, uh, something special in you. Okay. And this is mine. This is your work? Yeah. Okay. Would you mind to explain the pieces as they go along? Maybe a few words about them? You can just stay seated. This is called also a body chain. Okay. Body chain. Body chain, yeah. Okay. Uh, it has oval beads, mm -hmm. the one which is up, and then it has beads number. It has beads number eight, the one you can see around the shoulders. What do you mean number eight? What's number eight? Okay, beads have sizes. So there's number one, two, three. There's number one, two, three, uh -huh. and four. Uh -huh. Like for this one, it has. Oval, oval bead and bead number, number eight, white, shiny. Okay. The same applies to the hair. Mm. The same applies to the hair. Yeah. Can we go to the next image, please? If they would put it up. And this one, I can see a necklace, three layers. But this one, I'm, is it mixed? They're not the same beads. Not all of them are the same number. No, no, no. They have different so numbers. So I'm learning something. Okay. This one has... 14, 12, 14, 12, 10, and 8. What's the biggest number? The biggest number is 18. 18. Yeah. Have you ever used an 18? No. No. It, it no not yet. Not yet. Okay. How about the next one? 
Okay, I see a bracelet, necklace, and earrings. Yeah. And a headpiece. The overall beats and beats number eight. Mm. I have to ask, you said this is West African art. Yeah. Are these used for any occasions at all in the West of Africa? For this, you can use it any at any occasion you can go, you, uh, you want to go, mm -hmm. because it's African. Mm -hmm. Being Western, Eastern, Central, it's all Africa. It's all Africa. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Let's see one more. Ah, this one is similar to something we saw. Yeah. So this after this one, I edited it now to come like ants. Oh, so this is how ants began. Yeah, exactly. And then you added the the ones on the, that, on the, the sh chest. Yeah. Okay, this one doesn't have a headpiece. It doesn't. Okay, this is so beautiful. Uh huh. Let's see the last one, or even more actually, because me, I'm finding it. Oh, I see something. What this one in the middle has big, big beads, yeah. Yeah. And um, I'm guessing that's number something close to number what? Close to eight. Close to eight. Yeah. Wow. I see. I see. Let's see the other ones. Uh -huh, this is beautiful. This is like a, a pattern of some sort. That's great. Let's see that one. This work of yours, let me ask you, the piece that took you the longest, how long did it take? So far, the your biggest piece, your biggest work. It took me 12 hours. 12 hours. Yeah. What was it inspired by? It, mm, I made it with small bits, bits number one. Bits number one. Size number one, yeah. Uh -huh. So. Uh, to make a, si a simple volume or length of this, it can take you that minute. Only? Uh, only. Ah, oh, okay. And then now putting it to, it to become like, it to, f it to, f it to fill the space. Okay. It needs a lot of time. It needs a lot of time. Yeah, so it took me 12 good hours. What about Maasai beads? Do those, because um, Maasai beads are so small. Maasai beads are number one. A number one. Yeah. Do you work with Maasai beads? I also do. You do? If you want. If you want. Mm. I can see your, how you're wearing some on like your this one. This that's ring a ring it, yeah. it got Maasai beads okay number one uh -huh. with the Kenyan flag with the Kenyan flag that's number one I see so sour but these ones at the top are not beads those are diamonds or something yeah crystals yeah. I see very beautiful work so let me ask you you said something to the youth that um, the art is in them the work is you yeah so this thing for going to look for jobs just stop stop complaining mm, exactly you know they're not not everyone can agree with you because some people want to have jobs like the nine to five that you don't want they want to sit in an office some people they're dying to yeah but what i want us to do before we close the show i want you to say the importance of opening up your world and not just trying to get a job what is the importance of also opening a business on the side as a young person? And how does it help or assist your life? As a youth having your own business, it's very good because in, it encourages you to expand your mind. Mm. Getting yes. your own cash, mm. it will help you to manage how your expenditures will be. Okay. Uh, once you have a salary, mm -hmm. you, just, you can just sleep and then just think after, after that days, I love the, uh, this amount of money. Yes. And then you can just do whatever you want. Yeah. With, but having your own business, mm -hmm. uh, you have to uh, plan for everything. You can't just spend like, I just want to go to party. And then you just wake up and then you go. It can't happen. Mm -hmm. Because you have to pay people, you have to buy materials, than having a job. Having a job is just your labor. You it's just go to the office, <laughs> you sit, uh -huh. you do whatever you, 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 uh -huh. your needs to be done, uh -huh. and then you just go home go home you wait for the check at the end of the uh, month yeah okay you said you have to pay people mm -hmm. how many employees do you have if i may ask actually <laughs> at the moment i'm my own now ah your own now yeah. but you'll expand and you'll have some I'm sure. exactly okay in two years or three where do you see your bead work going do you see that you'll still continue with this work or do you find yourself entering into a new business or do you find yourself expanding this business into something even bigger? Beadwork is my life. Wow, it's your life. Yeah. You love it that much. I love it. For you, it's a passion. It's yeah. Yeah. So beadwork is my life. Yeah. As I say, I, I said earlier, ladies, you can't live without ladies, and ladies, if they're smart, men also be smart. <laughs> so having having beadwork. It will never end because 
the ladies will be there always. Mm. So bead work, I love it so, mm. so much. Mm. Uh, in the next like two years to come, I like it to, I'm planning to, to have an uh, agency. An agency? An agency. Okay, an agency for what? Models. Like oh, wow. Like having models now, like, like an, an official one. Okay, more, more, more models. More models. More models than the ones you yeah. have. Yeah. Okay. Because That's that good. one is also another business. Mm -hmm. I can start. It's a business also having a yeah having an agency. An agency. Mm -hmm. And will they be modeling in your in your agency? Will they be modeling your beads or maybe other designers' work or My both? Both. Yeah. Both other designers' work and, and also mine. showcase your beads on your model. Sure. Okay, that's a great business venture. I like your vision. I like that you want to go far. I really hope the best for you and I wish that, you know, all your dreams come true business wise. Thank and you. if you choose uh, you know, to choose uh venture into something else, I also wish you luck in that. Thank you. But I've seen that this is your passion and you know when it comes to art, right? It's truly, truly a passion. Art is not something you you wake up with, you know. The art is something you're born with. It's in your blood, it's in your bones. When you touch it, it becomes gold. When you touch it, it becomes you know, a gold mine. But when you don't have that art, then even me, if I touch these beads, you know, nothing, I'll probably take forever and I won't have the design because it's not in me. Yeah, so everyone has their talent. This is your talent and it's a wonderful talent. And we're so glad to have you on our show here on Why in the Morning. Karibu Sana. It's been a pleasure, Stephen Elmer. Thank you so much. All right. So we're signing out for Why in the Morning. My name is Joy Mochacha. Once again, remember that you can reach this channel, Y254, on Facebook. On Twitter, that is Y254 channel. And on Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. Watch this interview again on YouTube. That is on Y254 channel as well. And subscribe on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you guys a beautiful, beautiful morning. And the next interview is going to be coming from Barrymore.